Are you curious about how to use the GPT-40 voice feature to stay productive at work? While many people are focusing on how human-like the voice assistant sounds, not many people are realizing its potential for productivity. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to use the GPT-40's voice mode. To start, make sure you have the most recent and up-to-date version of the ChatGPT app from the Google Play or Apple Store. Let's open up the app and set up voice mode. Once you've logged in, click on the headphone icon at the bottom of the screen. You'll then be prompted with an introduction to voice conversations. It breaks down some key points about the new feature. Once you've read that, click continue. Now it's time to pick which voice you want GPT-40 to have when you interact with it. The options are Juniper. Hey there. Ember. Hey. Breeze. Hey. And Co. Hi there. Let's go with Juniper. Now that we have the voice mode set up, let's start a session. To begin a conversation, click the headphone button. Once it connects, the voice assistant will automatically respond to anything you say to the mic, whether you're speaking to it or not. Hey Juniper, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? If you want more control over when it hears you, hit the pause button to mute the mic. Then when you're ready for it to hear you, hit the play button. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I'm glad to hear that. What's on your mind today? If you have a lengthy response to GPT's question and you're worried that a pause might be interpreted as the end of your sentence, you can hold down the center voice input button while speaking and release it when you're finished. So let's see how Juniper can help me put together an outline for a group presentation that's due at the end of this quarter. Hey Juniper, I need help putting together an outline for a group presentation for a new video tool that we're trying to get at work. Sure thing, I'd be happy to help you with that. What key points do you want to cover in the presentation? I want to highlight key features, benefits to the video department, implementation plan, and cost analysis. Got it. Let's break down the outline into sections. One, introduction, brief overview of the new video tool. Two key features, highlight the main features of the video tool. Three, Benefits to the video department. Explain how the new tool will streamline workflows. Four, implementation plan. Outline steps for introducing the tool to the department. Five, cost analysis. Break down the initial cost of acquiring the tool. How does this outline look to you? Anything you'd like to add or modify? That's perfect, but could you also add a conclusion at the end and divide the work for each section between my coworkers, Graydon, Burke, Evora, and Mackenzie? Of course, here's how we can divide the sections among your coworkers. One, introduction. Graydon, two, key features. Avora, three, benefits to the video department. Graydon, four, implementation plan. Avora, five, cost analysis. Burke, six, conclusion. Evora summarized the key points and benefits of adopting the new video tool. How does this division of sections among your coworkers sound? That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, Juniper. Once you finish the chat session, you can go back and review a transcript of your voice interactions. Remember, GPT-40 isn't perfect, and you wouldn't want to copy and paste this entire response for your job without checking for errors. Thankfully, we have two edit options. First, you can tap and hold GPT's response to bring options like rating, regenerating, reading aloud, and switching models based on your satisfaction with the answer. Second, you can tap and hold your response to access edit options, allowing you to modify your question or answer to get a different response from the GPT. Wondering where was this technology 10 years ago when you needed it? Me too. But if you still have questions about how to use GPT-40's voice mode, comment down below. As always, head over to Tech Republic to stay up to date with all things ChatGPT and AI. Till next time, thanks for watching.